Welcome back to another video my friends. Today's video is all about lower body plyometrics training for basketball. Basketball or any other high intensity sport for that matter requires a lot of lower body strength because of the frequent change in direction, jumping, running, acceleration and so many other movements and all of these movements put so much impact on our joints and require us or our muscles to put in maximal effort. So it is important to condition your body in such a way that you prevent injuries and also improve performance metrics like power, speed, agility, endurance, strength and so much more just so that you can skyrocket your performance. And I understand that plyometric exercises can be a little bit tough, challenging when especially when you see them and can also be a little bit scary. But these exercises are very very crucial because it does help you prepare your body to take the impact of all these high impact movements which happens in sports or even in day to day life. They improve your bone density, they improve your functionality, they improve strength, they improve power, they improve the performance of your fast twitch muscle fibers which eventually help you accelerate, help in explosive movement. So it is very very important that you train in this way, you train these plyometric exercises so that you can enhance your athletic performance as well as your movement in day to day life even if you do not play sports or even if you are not an athlete. Now I'm not saying that you should do only plyometric exercises but adding plyometric exercises to your basic strength training routine such as doing squats, lunges, deadlifts, glute bridges, hip thrusts are a great way to improve your overall performance and strength. And the exercises that I'm going to show you today in this video are a few of my favorite lower body plyometric movements and I absolutely love them and I'm super excited for you to try them out and let me know how it feels. Especially if you're a basketball player, it's a bonus for you. But if you play any other sports, you can use them too. And just in general, if you're active in day-to-day -day life, these will be a great addition to your workout routine. So hopefully you like this video and don't forget to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button so that you can get notified of new videos every single time. And if you do, it also helps me reach a lot more people and I really, really appreciate the support. But for now, let's get into the routine. I'm going to show you the exercises. I'm not going to do a follow along workout. You can do these exercises as and when you prefer and see how you go about it. Let's go. Now the first one is going to be explosive step ups. I would actually like a smaller step for this one but at the moment this is what I have so I'm going to make use of it but generally I do this with a step about this height just here just like a normal staircase step that will work absolutely fine. Alright so I'm going to keep this next to me one foot here alright so you're going to be doing this on both sides one foot here. Now you want to make sure that you also have the arm movement in place just like you would do for a run. So always the cross body connection opposite shoulder and elbow to the opposite knee. So I'm going to start in this position. We're going to start with a power step here. I hope this doesn't break. We're going to start with a power step here and then get this all the way up. Now like I said this is a little bit high but I'm going to work with what I have. Alright. So I'm just going to show you in continuous movement how the actual exercise is going to look and then explain the form to you as well. So you are here, cross body connection, right leg, left hand, we're gonna step. So you have that power movement at all times, like I said this will not work, you need a step. But you have that power movement and you see that every time I step, this is with power, explosive movement on the exhale, cross body connection and you're done. So, So you have that explosive movement. So you do this for about 30 seconds on one side, then you switch, do the same on the other leg. So you go explosive. Always one side might be more dominant than the other, but see what works for you. 30 seconds on each side, three sets. Again, because it's explosive, because it's a power movement, take as much breaks as you need, because you want to go all out every single time you do it. So take breaks, obviously not 5 minutes, but enough to replenish and you can see me panting just by talking and doing the same thing, but 3 sets, 30 seconds each and that will be great. Now the next one is one of my favorites is the box jumps. Now I have a 20 inch, this is a 20 inch 
I have a 3 in 1 box 20, 24 and 30 inches but you can even work with a bench with a small stepper and then slowly increase the height beyond that. Now before I show you the actual exercise I'm going to show you the modification for beginners who are scared of jumping. So if you feel like you cannot jump this, this is a little tip for you, if you feel like the height is too much or you can't jump this or are not sure, you can try this little te technique and my head is going to go above the frame so apologies for that. But you want to be able to know that you can step onto the box before you jump. So if you can step onto the box, chances are that you will be able to jump it. So without difficulty I mean. So if you can step this, climb up and then come back down, chances are that you can jump it. But if you're not sure and you don't want to get started and that's a little bit uncomfortable or scary for you, this is your modification. You just do step ups on the box while alternating the legs. Now the actual exercise is your box jumps. Now in this one we're going to focus more on glute power and explosive. So you want to start off with feet shoulder width apart. I like to keep mine a little bit more than shoulder width apart because my legs are long. So feet shoulder width apart. You're going to sit back into that squat. You really want to propel yourself up, right? So sit back onto those glutes, squeeze those glutes here. Make sure you have full footing. You're not on your toes. You're not leaning back on your heels. Full flat footed because you're going to draw power from there. You're here. Jump and back down. So even when you land, you're landing in a bent like position. So from here, jump and down. All right. So you want to keep that continuous. Go as slow or as fast as you can. Initially get the form right. Don't get injured. You're going to be doing 10 reps. Take a break and then three sets. So this is going to help with your vertical. It's going to help in explosive power as well. So jump down, jump down, jump and down. So you really want to focus on that explosive power. Again, 10 reps, three sets, that'll be great. Now the next one is a little bit different than your box jumps, all right? We're going to go into pogo jumps to box jumps. So if you've seen the box jumps, you had this movement to help you power up. Now we're going to be on our toes. So we're going to be doing pogo jumps. So if you don't know what pogo jumps are, you're basically on your toes and just drawing power from those toes. So your calves are working a lot more because you're on your toes. So you're going to be improving a lot of calf strength as well. So we're going to do five pogo jumps and then directly jump onto the box without bending our knees. All right, that's what we're aiming for. And then we're going to jump back down. So this is more of a continuous movement. Not only your glutes, it's more to improve your vertical, to improve your jumping power as well as your explosive power and calf strength. All right, there's a lot of factors that come into play here. So we go five pogo jumps, one, two, three, four, five, jump up, back down, three, four, five, jump up, back down. So you can see how it's going to help improve your vertical. Now if this is too tough, of course, if you're a beginner, just start with plain old pogo jumps, nothing else. So again, you want to do this 10 times. Three sets, take break as you need in between so that you can go all out and maximize your performance in each set. Okay, now we're going to give that sort of jumping a break and focus on single leg stability. Now this is a new fear unlocked for me because after my ACL, I never did single leg jumps, especially on this leg because I was just too scared. And I did this in my physio session and I was like, wait, this is not happening. This is not working because I'm so scared, all right? So I'm just gonna move this aside for a little bit because we need that again. But there are three levels for you to do this, okay? Just single leg hops, nothing else. So we're going to start off with just single leg hops side to side, all right? So you're gonna bend this one leg backwards, not forward here, you're gonna bend this leg backwards. On your toes, you want to be on your toes. And you're just gonna hop side to side, 30 seconds, all right? Both legs, hop side to side. 30 seconds. Now this is level 1. Level 2, you take a band, okay? You're going to place it in between. Now why? Your objective, all right, let me put it on the mat. Your objective is that you do not step on the band when you're hopping. So now it's a lot more concentration. You need to make sure that you're not hopping over it. Sorry, ho hopping on it. You're going to hop over it each time, which means you need to make sure that you're actually moving side to side, right? This is your level two. So either this leg or that leg, same 30 seconds. 
Now your level three, which is the more advanced version, is you want a hurdle right now. I only have a dumbbell, so I'm gonna do this. Now I know this might be scary, especially if you've had previous injuries like me, like the first time I did it, I was just so, 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 so not confident at all that I felt like I would jump and step on the dumbbell and maybe have like injure myself again. But I'm gonna try with my left leg first because my right leg, it's still like mentally, but the objective again is to jump over the dumbbell and this is like a higher level, right? So you want to jump over the dumbbell at all times, 30 seconds. Let's try with this leg. Wish me luck. And we're gonna go over the dumbbell at all times. This is much better actually for me. But that's it guys, 30 seconds. And then slowly you want to start increasing the height not like till here, but you slowly want to start increasing the height so that you can really focus on that single leg stability and single leg power. So this exercise, pick whichever level you can do. Work your way up if you're starting at the beginner level, that's totally fine, you have three levels to go to. No equipment, just moving side to side, then with a band and then with a hurdle of sorts. All right, 30 seconds, three sets again, and you're good to go. All right, so the next one is so, 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 so important, especially if you're a runner or you engage in sport activities, which require a lot of running, and that's your calves. You know how many people just focus on knees, thighs, glutes, hamstrings, and neglect the calves? And I'm also telling this because I heard a lot of my friends in basketball complaining of Achilles injuries or just calf, or just pulling on the calf, and this happens mainly because either your calves are too tight, or they're not very strong and you need to make sure that you are strengthening your calves as well. And this in itself is a sort of like a plyometric exercise, okay? And just a fun fact, if you didn't know, you have two muscles that make up your group of calf muscles and majorly people know only of the one here. There's also one on the side, but this is the major one, which is your gastrocnemius is the major one, but you want to work on both. Now, simple plain, we're just gonna to stick to calf raises. I'm gonna show you three variations. Pick what you can do and do that. First one, simple, you can either hold a weight here if you want to hold weights on your sides, but you just wanna make sure that you're coming up all the way to the ball of your feet, all the way to the tips of your toes, sorry, and then back down. Option to take support if you need it, but up and down. Up and down, you wanna make it a little bit more explosive, hold it on top there and down. Again, 30 seconds, as many as you can do, three sets. Now you can obviously move to single leg. So if you wanna to move to single leg, you put one leg up, up, down with or without weights. Again, I need a little bit support, but up, down, down, down. Single leg and you can also add a little bit of elevation to this. You can do it on a stepper, you can do it on like a plate, a weighted plate. So I'm gonna take a little bit of support so up here you have a little bit of elevation so that you can let that calf drop. So you let that calf drop here, so hopefully you can see it. And you go up, down, up, down, up, down. So you want to make it a little explosive. You can do it with a barbell, you can do it with dumbbells, weights, kettlebells, whatever, just to increase the challenge. Again, 30 seconds, three sets. If you're doing single leg on both legs, of course, if you're doing double leg, then 30 seconds, three sets and you're done. Okay guys, we have only two more exercises left. Now the next one is not one of my favorites, but it's great, especially to improve your vertical in a jump and improve that lower body strength and power. So I'm gonna show you once and then I will show you a modification. You obviously don't need to use a box or a step that is this high. This is pretty high for me as well, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Basically, I don't know the name of this. You can call it hop ups, step ups, knee hop ups, jumps, step hops anything but I can't really like find a name so I'm just gonna show you but basically what you want to do is use this leg to push yourself up have a hop in between you're not stepping on the box hop in between and you land with the other leg on top of the box all right so I'm gonna show you in a little bit slow motion not too fast just so that you can get an idea all right so you're gonna push with this right leg hop 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 and hop so that is the idea now if you do have a smaller step it can be much, much faster. I need to train at this height to be much faster. This is my speed right now. Or maybe if I get used to it, I can do better. So just hop it there. There, I lost my balance. But happens with everybody. Now, of course, if you need a modification, you're gonna be up here, come up, but make sure that you're using only one leg to push yourself up. 
and then you switch. All right, again, smaller step, totally fine, but make sure that you're using the power of one leg to push yourself up. 30 seconds, three sets, and you're good. And your last exercise. These are the skater hops. Now, when you think of skater hop, you just think cardio. Eh, not really. It's more than just cardio, guys, because it's going to help you improve single leg stability again. It works on your glutes, works on your core, and also helps with the internal rotation of your knees and your hips, which is very crucial when it comes to playing sports because you want to avoid injuries. So when you start off with skater hops, I want you to make sure that you're pushing those hips back. So you're pushing those hips back so, so that your glutes are working. Keep your core tight. And we want a single leg hop, all right? So the distance doesn't matter initially. I just want you to get the form, right? So when you hop, this leg comes up here. You're sitting back. So you're sitting back on this glute and balancing there, all right? So you hop, balance. Hop, sit down. In that skater hop, sit down on that glute because your glutes are really gonna work. And then as you keep progressing, you can increase the distance as well as the speed. So this is how it's gonna go. Hop, 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 hop. You're gonna keep it as fast as you can, as low as you can, sitting back on those glutes, working on that single leg power. Same thing, 30 seconds, three rounds, and you're good. Now modification, you can step instead of hopping. So you step, single leg, step, single leg. I still want that balance though, okay? But this one, whew, I'm out of breath. But this one is the last exercise. Ignore my hair, but that's all the exercises guys. And these movements can really, really, really help you improve your power, speed, strength, agility, endurance. So many things which can help improve your overall performance. So if you play sports, if you're into like high intensity sport, it can really help you out. And even if you really just want to challenge yourself in day to day life and are a fitness enthusiast, it's great. You can of course always do the modifications because power, speed and power, uh, strength training is not just for athletes, it's for everybody so that you can move functionally in day to day life without any pain or discomfort. So try these exercises out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what other videos you want to see in terms of sports training or just general fitness in itself and I will be happy to help you out. But that's it for this video. I hope you did like it. Do not forget to smash that thumbs up button and that little bell at the bottom because it really helps me out and I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.